Hi, I'm Holly Williams. Welcome to Holistic Life. Hey friends, welcome to another video. Today we're going to do a 15 minute fast flow that's going to feel really, really good on um, those belly cramps when we get them, uh, those of us who get them. If you are not one who gets your monthly visitor, good, good for you. But also, this is still going to be a really great uh, flow for you, great for low back, tight hamstrings, uh, tight hip flexors, you know, even tight lower belly muscles. Um, it'll just feel really, really nice. So, uh, you won't need any props, just yourself and some space. If you would like a mat to give yourself some, uh, place, then go for it. But if you're ready to get started, let's do it. So we are going to start here in a seated posture. Um, you can have your hands on your knees if you would like, maybe hands on the floor, your choice, and then just watch the breath for just a couple moments, maybe closing the eyes, feeling the breath, inflate the lungs, feeling gravity when you exhale. have your eyes closed go ahead and open the eyes and let's bring the palms of the hands to the floor on either side of the hips inhaling pressing the hands into the floor feeling length up through the spine and through the crown of the head and exhale inhale the tail will go down the arms will reach up palms touch and exhale the arms back down hands come to the floor. Inhale, the hands into the floor. The crown of the head reaches towards the ceiling, feeling length in the arms and the neck. Exhale. Inhale, the tail and sits bones go down. The arms reach up. The palms will touch. And then let's exhale, bringing one hand in front, one hand in back, bringing the heart over to one side for a little bit of a twist. And we'll inhale the arms up about halfway and we'll twist to the other side, bringing the heart over. Inhaling, let's bring the arms all the way up and exhale, bring the hands forward, walk them away from the body, a little bit of a fold. You can tuck the chin if you would like. Breathing deeply into the back body, feeling that nice lengthening in the back. With your next inhale, let's walk the hands towards the body, switch the legs, and walk the hands forward again. Bringing the belly in to your lap. Your inhale will bring you up and exhale the legs forward here in staff pose, flexing the feet, spreading the toes. Let's inhale. The tail will go down. The arms will rise, palms touch, and exhale the hands down. Inhaling, the hands go down. Lengthen through the heels. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthening up, the tail goes down, the arms come up. Exhale, bring the hands to the legs and walk the hands towards the feet, bringing the belly in towards the thighs, the heart forward, keeping a nice long spine. Tuck the chin if you would like. Really feel that length in the back body. And breathing. Inhale, raise it up, and exhale, let's twist, bringing the heart over to a side, 
One hand's in front, one hand is in back. Inhale through center and exhale to the other side. Let's inhale here to center. Bring the arms up, let the legs get wide and exhale. Bring the hands forward. A little wide legged seated forward fold. Maybe do a couple pulses here. Really feeling length here on the insides of the legs, flexing the feet, spreading the toes. Walk the hands away. Bring the belly towards the floor, the heart forward. Tuck the chin if you would like. Breathing into the back body, breathing into the belly. Let your next inhale raise you up and we're gonna exhale. Turn the heart towards the right foot. Exhaling, bringing the heart towards the right foot. Hands are on either side of the leg. And we're gonna inhale up through center Walk the hands to the other side. Bring the heart towards the left foot. <sighs> Inhale, walking the hands towards the body. And exhale. Now let's roll forward. Crossing the ankles, rolling forward. And we're going to come into a tabletop. So you can go sideways here if you would like, if that's how your mat is set up, or you can just roll on forward. A little cat-cow here, inhaling the belly down, the tail and the chin will look up, tilting that pelvis forward. And exhale, pressing the floor away, bringing the belly towards the spine, the pelvis tilts backwards. Inhale, pelvis tilts forward, the heart and the belly Go towards the floor, the tail and the chin look up. And exhale, the heart lifts, the belly comes towards the spine. One more time, inhale, the belly down, tail and chin look up. And exhale. Well, let's see, let's, um, let's inhale, press into the feet, let the weight come into the hands, crown of the head comes forward, exhale, the hands go down, the tail reaches back towards the feet. Coming here into a child's pose, really lengthening through those arms. And we're going to do a little bit of a flow here from um, into a puppy pose into a sphinx. So with your next inhale, let the hands slide forward as the knees press into the floor. The tail is going to rise. The heart will come towards the floor and we'll be here in a puppy pose for just a moment. Bringing the belly in towards the spine. Really lengthening through the arms. With your next inhale, let the knees go down, let the heart travel forward, keeping the elbows on the floor, weight shifts forward, the belly comes onto the floor, and we're here in a sphinx. Now we're going to go from sphinx back to child's pose. So let's bring the hands under the shoulders. Inhale, press the hands down, let the tail rise, let the tail go back towards the feet, coming back into a child's pose. We're going to go through that one more time. So inhale, press the tops of the feet into the floor. Let the hands slide forward on the mat, bringing the heart towards the floor. The tail rises. You can even wag your tail a little bit. Tops of the feet are nice and active on the floor. Hands are nice and active on the floor. With your next inhale, press into the legs, tops of the feet, let the heart come in between the elbows. Weight comes on top of the elbows, and now we're here in Sphinx. Now, traveling back to child's pose. Let's inhale the hands underneath the shoulders, and exhale, press the hands down, let the tail rise, let it come back towards the heels here in child's pose. 
Inhale, press the feet down, come up into a tabletop and exhale. With your next inhale, we're gonna press into the left knee, let the right foot come forward, kind of here in a low lunge. Now let's come up here, bring the hands to the knees, and now we're here in a low lunge. Let's have a nice 90 degree here in the knee. Feel weight in this front foot, feel weight in this back foot. Standing nice and tall, really feeling length in that hip flexor, feeling strength here in this leg. Now, if this is all you need, just stay here. Let's take this left hand, place it on the floor, let the heart lift, and we'll twist here just a little bit. Let's bring this top arm down, place it on the floor on the inside of that right foot, press it in, let the left hand come up onto the ribs, a little bit of a twist, and exhale your left hand back to the floor, let that right leg travel back, ending here in table. Let's do the other side. So shifting weight into the right leg so the left leg can step forward. Both hands are still on the floor if that's comfortable. And then let's very slowly walk the hands up to the knee, giving yourself that support. So again, nice 90 degree in this front knee. Feel your weight in your front foot. Feel your weight in your back leg. Feel length here in your hip flexor and strength here in this leg. Sitting nice and tall. And breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Now let's take this right arm, place it on the floor, and then lift in this left arm. The heart looks over at your left knee, taking a breath or two. Your next exhale, let the left hand come down to the floor. Find the support first, press that left hand in, let the right hand rise, bringing it to the ribs. Lower lungs here. You can raise that right arm if you'd like, or you can stay right here. Really feeling length here. Feel your weight in your feet. Equal distribution of weight in the feet. All right, let's bring this hand back down to the floor. Let this left leg sweep on back. Scoot forward. Let's bring the feet wide. Tuck the toes on the mat. We're gonna walk the hands towards the body. Let our tail come up, let the knees lift, and we're gonna come here in a little squat. So however you're comfortable being in a squat, right there, I'll face you. So feet can be wide, elbows are on the insides of the knees, hands are pressing in on each other, feeling this really nice length in the inner thighs. You can wiggle a little bit. You can always have your hands on the floor too if you want to just maybe rock between your feet that always feels nice too so here from a squat let's uh just breathe <laughs> all right so go ahead and press into the feet let the tail rise bring the arms forward so we're kind of in a goddess here and go ahead and keep rising let that tail rise press into the legs let the hands come down to the floor. Nice bent knees, nice wide legs. Let the head water fall down. Let the thighs catch the belly. Chin tucks in towards the chest. Little bit of a rag doll if you would like to lift the hands and grab each elbow. Really let some decompression happen there in the spine. Maybe sway from side to side. When you're ready, let's bring the hands back to the floor. We're gonna inhale, lengthen in the legs. Come up for a flat back, nice long spine. Exhale, the belly back down, the hands come back down. Now let's heel toe the feet to about hips distance apart. Give a nice big bend in the knees, let the tail shift back, press in the feet, and let's rise all the way up reaching up through the hands, 
maybe a little bit of a back bend, hands come together and exhale the hands to heart center. Now here in uh, Tadasana, let's inhale, press into the feet, let the arms rise, really lengthen up, hands come together. Maybe look up at the hands, lengthen in that front body, and we're gonna exhale, fold. Right here at the waist, nice long back, let that tail rise, nice bent knees, let the tops of the legs catch the belly. We'll inhale to a flat back, lengthening the legs. And let's go ahead, bring the hands down, bring the knees down. Let's let the knees go wide, let the tail sink back. Big toes are together. Heart comes down on the floor and we're resting here in child's pose. Nice wide legged child's pose. Breathing into the belly. And breathing. Now you can stay here as long as you like. Maybe even before you sit up, you would like to roll onto your back for constructive rest. That is an option. <sighs> so you can lay here if you would like, knees bent, feet are on the floor. Stay here as long as you want. Take a nap if you want to. But if you're ready to get up, let's go ahead and gently roll and come up into seated bringing the hands together at heart center. Let's inhale and exhale. I hope this practice allowed you to feel comfort, ease, and maybe the release of some pain in your lower belly. Namaste. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that felt really, really good. I know it felt good for me. Uh, if you'd like other videos, I do have quite a few now on my YouTube channel. So check those out. Tell your friends, your family, anyone who might uh, benefit from any one of these practices. And find me on Instagram and Facebook at Holistic Life. And hopefully this practice helped you have a little bit more of a holistic life too. Have a good day, guys. See you later.